Today I want to show you how to create a simple frequency response using a circuit on multisim.com. I'm going to start off by creating a circuit. I'm going to put down an AC voltage source and then I'm going to place a capacitor and a resistor because I'm going to make a simple filter. I'm going to hit shift and R to rotate that resistor into the position that I want and I'm going to connect these components together. Now I'm going to add a ground so that the circuit knows where zero volts is. Finally, I'm going to place a voltage probe where I want to measure the voltage, in this case right between the capacitor and the resistor. Now I'm going to look at the, uh, the configuration over here, and I'm going to change the configuration for the simulation of the whole circuit. To do that, I'm going to click on the, the background here, and that'll show me the settings for the whole simulation. So right now under simulation type, I'm going to change this to AC sweep. Okay. Now this has some settings that we'll talk about in a minute, but right now let's just run it and see what happens. I run the simulation, it loads it for a minute, and then it shows me a graph that has the frequency response. There are two lines here. The solid line is the magnitude, which we are interested in. The dotted line is the phase. We don't care about that. So I'm going to get rid of that by clicking on this little check mark next to phase and unchecking that. So now what we see is the magnitude. The magnitude is the ratio of the output signal from a circuit divided by the input to that circuit. Now what's going on here is that this is a high pass filter circuit. So it allows the high frequencies to go through and it absorbs or attenuates the lower frequencies. So you can see that for high frequencies, the ratio of output to input is just about one. In other words, the output is the same size as the input. But with lower frequencies, the, the ratio is smaller. So lower frequencies get absorbed. And somewhere in between is kind of the point where the frequencies um, stop going through easily and start being absorbed. Now you can see that there's not a real clear point where this happens. It's kind of a, a curve. but So we, we have to kind of choose arbitrarily the point where that's going to be. So the way that this is often done is we look at where the output drops to 70.7% of the input, and we call that the cutoff frequency. And we say that everything above that frequency goes through the circuit pretty well unchanged, and anything below that frequency um, gets diminished or attenuated. To measure that, we can go to cursors, and we can choose the x-axis here, and this shows us some cursors. And when I move the cursor around, we can see um, the frequency as well as the, the um, ratio there. So I can move this cursor around until that ratio goes to 70.7% .7 or uh, 707 milli here. And that frequency is where is what we call the cutoff frequency. So we say that Signals above that frequency pass through the filter mostly unchanged, and signals below that frequency um, are diminished or attenuated. Now, um, oftentimes when we are looking at a frequency response, we want to choose the window that we're looking at. So we can see that, that these high frequencies all go through pretty much unchanged. So we don't have to show all this area up here because it's all pretty much one. Similarly, down here, we can see that these frequencies are attenuated and they just continue to be attenuated. So um, we're not so interested in that. We're mostly interested in 
the cutoff frequency and the region around the cutoff frequency. So often what we'll do when we are showing a frequency response is we will show the, uh, the range of frequencies that go from one-tenth of the cutoff frequency up to ten times the cutoff frequency. So we can see that for this particular circuit with a one millihenry, I'm sorry, a one microhenry, I'm sorry, a one microfarad capacitor and a one uh, kilo ohm resistor, the cutoff frequency is about 159, call it 160 hertz. So if we want to find the frequency range for that, one tenth of that is 16 hertz, and 10 times that is 1,600 hertz. So let's go back to our schematic and change our um, simulation settings. So over here in the sweep configuration, I can change the start and stop frequency. So we said that the uh, start frequency was at 16 hertz, and the stop frequency was at 1600 hertz. So if I set those and then I run the frequency again, I run the simulation again, now we're, we see a graph that's a little bit more zoomed in on that uh, cutoff frequency. Again, I can um, get rid of the phase and just show the magnitude, and I can move this cursor around to where the, um, the magnitude is 0.707, um, and that will be my cutoff frequency.